Here are the 5 best tablets you can buy right now, the entire Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 series and the two Apple iPad Pro tablets. Which one is best? I compared all with each other and in this video you learn which is better for whom and which one I use as my daily driver. And we start with the hardware and performance. All Galaxy Tab S9 tablets are equipped with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor and both iPad Pros have an Apple M2 chipset. In addition, you can choose between 8GB and up to 16GB of RAM on all of them, as well as between 128 up to 1TB of storage. You can also get the iPads with 2TB and all of them are also offered with 5G. All my benchmark comparisons clearly show that while the three Samsung devices are faster than any other Android tablet, the M2 chipset still wins hands down in comparison. Apple's M2 processor is simply unbeaten. In real world gaming tests the result is not quite as clear as you can play PUBG Mobile, Asphalt 9 and Genshin Impact on all of them with the highest graphics settings and very nice graphics quality. However, it's also clear that you will be able to do that for much longer with the iPad Pro, especially in the future. But not everyone plays games and that's why I also had LumaFusion render a 10 minute 4K video to Full HD. Samsung was pretty fast with 2 minutes and 10 seconds, but Apple is even faster with 1 minute and 19 seconds only. So if you're into pure performance, you will have to get an iPad Pro. It's fun to compare flagships with each other because they are top class in all aspects and that includes the displays. I especially like that we get AMOLED screens on all S9 tablets now and no LCDs on any version. This makes black look really black. Obviously that's also the case with the liquid Retina XDR display on the 12.9 inch iPad. However, on the LCD of the 11 inch iPad Pro, the black is more of a dark grey. Too bad Apple. All displays are very high resolution and look sharp. They differ in the display size of course. While there's an 11 inch and 12.9 inch iPad Pro, you can get the S9 with 11 inches, the S9 Plus with 12.4 inches and the S9 Ultra with really big 14.6 inches. The AMOLED display of the Ultra is really big and very nice for at home use, but almost too big for me to take out. But again, a 14.6 inch AMOLED display is just perfect for watching high quality Netflix movies and TV shows. HDR is also possible, to be fair, also with the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, but for movies a 14.6 inch AMOLED is really nice. All displays are fully laminated, all are very bright and all support 120Hz. There are 4 speakers on each side and the sound quality is really good on all of them although the 11 inches are marginally weaker. In a direct comparison, I sometimes hear that the speakers of the S9 Ultra are slightly better than those of the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, but if so, the difference is very small. The S Pen is included in each of the S9 tablets, but you have to buy the Pencil 2 from Apple separately and spend at least $100 more on it. I think both pens are really good. One important difference is that the S Pen never needs to be charged for handwritten notes and drawings, but only for a few gestures. The Apple Pencil 2 on the other hand always needs to be charged. The software for the pens looks quite different on both, but ultimately the features are very similar. Both have good notes apps with handwriting recognition and you can annotate screenshots and quickly start a new note at any time on all of them. And you can write in almost any text field with both, although Apple is a bit better here. Samsung has a few more built-in features, but the selection of pencil optimized apps in the Apple App Store is larger. In the end, both manufacturers are roughly on par when it comes to the pens. All five tablets are made of aluminium, have a very high quality build and feel expensive, which is exactly what they are. I really like the fact that Samsung's S9 series is protected against water and dust according to IP68, the S pens as well by the way. Apple's tablets are not. We get fingerprint readers with Samsung's and Face ID from Apple, both work very well. Headphone jacks are missing in each case and all have USB-C ports, although the iPads are a bit better with USB 4 and Thunderbolt. Only the S9 series has micro SD card slots. The cameras are great for video chats on all of them and the main cameras are also very good, but none of them come close to the premium cameras of current premium smartphones. The keyboards of the 5 tablets are also really good. Both brands offer two types of keyboards each. 
The cheapest are keyboard covers that protect the tablets and have a flat keyboard built into the inside. Here I think Samsung is better because the keys have a better travel. Overall the second type of keyboard cover is more useful. For Apple it's the Magic Keyboard which is more like a keyboard dock and also offers a USB-C port and has a backlight. Samsung's second keyboard is called Book Cover Keyboard and consists of a back with a built-in flip stand that can also be used without the keyboard. The keyboard is then also magnetically attached and is very well implemented, also has a solid touchpad but no backlight, at least not the one for the S9. Overall I like Samsung's Book Cover Keyboard better simply because the combination is more flexible and not as heavy. Let's move on to the software. The S9 tablets run Android 13 with One UI while the iPads run the current iPadOS. I like both operating systems very much. Android is somewhat closer to my heart. But when it comes down to it, I really like using iPadOS on tablets simply because of this larger selection of apps optimized for tablets. Samsung is far ahead in terms of battery life with 11 hours while Apple's lasted for just 6. For this test I always run an HD YouTube video at maximum brightness in an endless loop. So are the Apple iPad Pro tablets or the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 tablets better? That ultimately depends on what exactly you're looking for. If performance is important to you, Apple's M2 chipset is simply more powerful. If on the other hand you want an 11 inch tablet with really good black levels and an AMOLED panel, you have to get the Galaxy Tab S9. And if you want a really big tablet, you can go for the 14.6 inch S9 Ultra which still has a great battery life. In the end, Samsung tablets are always a bit cheaper, especially because the S Pen is included. Apple's tablets cost at least $100 more with the pen and in the Eurozone usually €300 Euros more. If you're not sure which tablet to buy, I would always recommend an iPad simply because Apple's support is top notch and if you sell it used later, you usually get more for an iPad than for an Android tablet. One of my main tablets will still be the 12.9 inch iPad Pro and that's mainly because photography is my hobby and I can use it at home on the sofa to edit photos in many different apps. To work on the go however, I will use the 11 inch Galaxy Tab S9 because I think the keyboard cover is great, it's nice and small and has a very long battery life at the same time.